Do you know what we're celebrating with the turning of the wheel to a star? Well, we just said we celebrate eight Sabbaths, right? And that those eight Sabbaths are celebrating the changing of seasons. So what season do you think we're celebrating now? Summer, winter, spring, fall. And aren't those only four seasons? Isn't this also very confusing? <laughs> well, what I'll tell you is that as the wheel of the year turns, and we go through the seasons and the Sabbaths of the year, of the year, year after year, not only do we celebrate the four seasons of spring, summer, winter, and fall, we also celebrate four very important dates each year too. And these are the two solstices and the two equinoxes. And that means that we need to go back to the wheel of the year for just a minute or two to refresh our memories. We celebrate the winter solstice at Yule, which is the longest night of the year. Every day from that night until halfway around the wheel, which is six months later, at the Sabbath of Letha, which is the summer solstice, the days get just a little bit longer by a few minutes every day. That means that the nights get shorter, right? Yes, that's right. And that, my friends, really is something to celebrate. And then, at the summer solstice, which is the Sabbath of Letha, and the longest day of the year, we start to get less and less daytime, and more and more nighttime. So from Yule until Letha, from, summer, from winter solstice till summer solstice, we get more and more daylight, and less and less nightlight. From summer solstice until winter solstice we get less and less daytime and more and more nighttime. In nature you will always always find balance just like this and guess what? Two times a year, two times, the day and night are exactly the same and those are called the equinoxes and that's when we celebrate again <laughs> The solstices and the equinoxes, which are Ostara and Meba, those are nature's clocks or calendar. It keeps time for us. Ostara, which we're celebrating right now, is the spring equinox, and Mabon is the autumn or fall equinox. And Mabon is in September. And so this month, we're celebrating Ostara, which is the beginning of spring and the spring equinox. So we are celebrating the beginning of spring. Yay! <laughs> if Rupert was here, he would want to know all the whens and the wheres and the whys. Wouldn't he? He's such a curious little guy. He would probably even want to know just why we call the spring equinox by the name of Ostara. Do you know why? Well, you know, there are some questions about just that. There are some who say that there was once a goddess by the name of Estera, who was worshipped many thousands of years ago by Germanic people. But information about her is very difficult to find. You have to remember that people who lived hundreds of years ago didn't even have computers. And people who lived thousands of years ago didn't have the time to write things down. They were busy living their lives just trying to survive. And you know, there were a lot of other gods and goddesses who were also honored during this very important time of year too. People back then were just happy like crazy to be able to plant more food and have nice weather and that the snow was gone. Hooray! The spring equinox was a very happy time for people who grew all of their food, both plants and animals. This was truly a time to celebrate that they had survived the winter and could get on with their lives. And what about those colored eggs? What do they have to do with Ostara anyway? Well, there are a lot of stories you might enjoy about all that, but the first thing you should know is that eggs are a symbol. Do you remember what a symbol is? Remember that it's one thing that reminds you of another thing? You do? Well, that's great! Eggs are a symbol of fertility. That means that something can be grown, at least when we're talking about living things. If the land is fertile, that means that, it, that things, new things can be planted to grow new life. If the land is not fertile, that means that nothing can grow there at all. 
An egg, when it is first laid, has potential life. That means it can become a new chick, which will grow up to become a chicken. Just like spring equinox can mean that there will be a whole lot of new life in the fields and throughout the land, and, that, and in all the new animals that are born. So, when spring arrives on the spring equinox, many people all over the world celebrate the beginning of new life. And it wasn't just Germanic people long, long ago who celebrated the spring equinox. Not at all. There have been many people who did the very same thing, uh, but not all of them called it Ostara. I'm not so sure it's so very important to always know how a thing started as it is to understand why you're doing it now. So let's think about those birthdays again, shall we? You probably think that everyone everywhere has always celebrated birthdays, right? But that would mean that there had to be a calendar to use that everyone agreed on. And that, my friends, was not the case. There's a lot of history behind calendars that you'll learn as you get older. But you don't have to know about history in order to celebrate your birthday. Well, it's certainly important to continue learning throughout your whole life. You need to understand that it's not always possible to learn how everything may have started. After all, most of the things that we celebrate today started a very, very long time ago. Throughout the history of the planet, there's always been a spring equinox and an autumn equinox, when day and night were equal, even when there were no people on the planet to celebrate it. So, you might want to spend a little bit of time thinking about just why you and your family do celebrate the Sabbath. Are you glad everything is growing again? Are you glad we have warmer weather? Do you like having more daytime and less nighttime? Well, then maybe those are good reasons to celebrate. As pagans, we almost always recognize Goddess and God during our Sabbaths and tell them thank you for all we have. Some pagans thank the gods and goddesses of one or more pantheons, which is a group of gods like we talked about before. Some of them do it by name, and some just thank God and goddess without mentioning any names. The other to think, the other thing to think about as, is nature as a whole. It's really, really an amazing thing. The more you learn about nature, the more you find how, how everything is connected together. Many pagans use this Sabbath, the spring equinox, when day and night are the same to remind themselves of balance in their own lives. For many grown-ups, it's very hard to have balance in their lives between work and play, time alone, time with others, time taking care of others, and taking care of themselves, and many, many other things. Balance is a very difficult thing for most people. This is very often the time of year when people take the time to reconnect with Goddess and God to make sure they have spiritual balance in their lives as well. So now let's think about nature and balance together. During the autumn equinox when we celebrate Maybon and our second harvest, we also have a time when our thoughts are on balance. Only during Maybon, we're getting ready for the cold of winter instead of the warmth of the summer. Maybon is a time when, as pagans, we often think about what we should be letting go of to bring balance into our lives. So perhaps at the spring equinox, we should be thinking about what we can add to our lives as we celebrate Ostara. That makes sense, doesn't it? We add to our lives in the season of growing, and we let go of things as the year begins to come to an end. Can you think of things you'd like to add to your life? Things that will help you grow? Maybe you could make up a new song or paint a new picture. Maybe it's time to start thinking about taking a class to learn something new. Maybe you could start a new chore to help around the house or find other ways to make your home a better place to be. What new habit could you start doing? Maybe using less water to brush your teeth? Maybe smiling more often? Jeez, <laughs> and why not? Okay. Maybe asking what you can do to help more often. Maybe grow a plant, or think of ways to use less garbage around your household. This is the time of new growth and new beginnings. It's up to you to choose how you will celebrate and how you will grow. And how about those colored eggs? Well, here's an interesting fact you might enjoy. Did you know that rabbits mostly like to come out at nighttime? Well, because they do, rabbits have often been used as a symbol of the moon. That makes sense because a rabbit takes 28 days to be born from the time it starts growing inside of its mother, and that's the same number of days it takes the moon to go from maiden through the mother, through the crone, and back to the maiden again. So a whole cycle of the moon takes the same amount of time as it does 
to make a rabbit. Ta-da! How about that? Do you know the difference between rabbits, bunnies, and hares? Well, for the most part, a rabbit and a hare are about the same. But a hare is bigger, faster, has bigger back legs, as well as longer ears. Also, hares make nests above the ground, while rabbits make burrows in the ground. The real name of a baby rabbit is a kit. But just like I've told you, language changes all the time. So now most of us call baby rabbits bunnies. Bunnies, bunnies, bunnies. Baby hares are often called leverets. And rabbits are often pets. Well, hares usually are not. And here's another little thing you might find interesting. In the wild, a hare's nest that's above the ground is called a form. It's basically a nest for bunnies or leverets. When hares abandon or leave the form for good, it's sometimes taken over by birds called plovers, who then lay their eggs in the rabbit's nest, in the hare's nest. Okay? So it looks like rabbits lay eggs. <laughs> How cool is that? So rabbits are a symbol of spring because they have so, so, so many babies. They are one of the most fertile animals on the planet. A human can only have one baby each year, or two or three if they're having uh, twins or triplets. Um, but rabbits can have lots and lots and lots of babies all the time, all year round. And since the spring equinox is a celebration of new life, you can see why rabbits are a symbol of Ostara. Next up is a new song.